Hi everyone, Professor Stefaro here and this screencast is on molecules in motion or Brownian movement. And this will lead us to our discussion on diffusion and osmosis. Recall that matter is anything that occupies space, has mass, and is made of elements, atoms and molecules. And so I'm going to refer to these as particles. So molecular particles or particles are the things that matter is made up of. Matter can exist in five different states, but we're going to stick to three because they're the ones that we encounter most often. And those are solids, liquids, gases. In each state of matter, the molecules are in constant motion. And we can distinguish the states of matter by the kind of motion of those molecular particles. So let's watch the video about the movement of matter. Water can exist in three different states. In the iceberg, it's solid. In the sea, it's a liquid. In the surrounding air, it's a gas. Solid, liquid, and gas are the three states of matter. Solids have a definite shape. A block of ice takes the shape of its mold. As it melts, it changes. The water spreads out and fills up the container. All liquids behave this way. They flow and find their own level. Gases spread out even more, filling any space available. The way solids, liquids and gases behave gives us clues about how their particles are arranged. In solids, the particles are in a fixed framework. They're held close together and vibrate. In liquids, the particles are still in contact, but this time they're free to move around. The particles in a gas are far apart. They move quickly and randomly in any direction. But how do we know the particles in a gas behave this way? Some of the evidence comes from looking at how smoke appears under a microscope. Smoke from the straw is injected into a small container. A lid keeps it in place. And a bright light enables it to be viewed under a microscope. It looks like tiny, jittering points of light. When a straw burns, the smoke produced is mostly bits of carbon which haven't combusted. Under a microscope, they catch the light and appear to glimmer. But why do they randomly dance around? The movement of the smoke is caused by collisions with invisible air particles. As the air particles move about, they knock the smoke first this way, then that. Particles in a gas move randomly and quickly. Flowers produce pollen, which is a very fine dust, easily brushed off by a finger. Nearly 200 years ago, it was this dust which first gave us clues about how particles behave in a liquid. In the 1820s, the botanist Robert Brown was carrying out a study of pollen grains. He decided to crush the pollen and suspend the grains in water. But to his annoyance, the pollen continually jittered around. Today, we can best see this effect by looking at tiny carbon particles instead. A drop of carbon powder suspended in oil is placed on a slide and viewed under a microscope. Just like the smoke, the carbon is dancing around. Brown didn't know why this movement occurred, but we now believe it's caused by the motion of particles in the liquid. 
The carbon is being pushed around by collisions in the oil. Okay, let's take a look at the pollen under the microscope. Here we see pollen granules suspended in water and they're jiggling about just as the narrator described in the previous video. And the reason is because water molecules are colliding into those pollen grains as they move. This is called Brownian movement and it shows us two things that molecules move and the movement is random and we can see the random movement by the trace of one pollen particle. If we were to pick another pollen grain it would have a completely different tracing. Okay next anything that moves has energy and this kind of energy is called kinetic energy and we can relate the amount of kinetic energy to the state of matter. Looking at this table taking solids, liquids, and gases remember each has a characteristic shape and arrangement and that leads to the amount of movement for that state of matter. And this is one of the ways they differ from each other is how much motion is in the particles that make up the matter. And the other difference that comes with that is the amount of kinetic energy. So for a solid it's very low. For a liquid it's higher but it's going to be lower than the highest which is a gas. Okay, I'm going to call it a wrap. We're going to end with dust particles in Brownian motion in a gas. See them jitter and jiggle. And I'd like you to watch the uh, blast animation next on uh, molecular movement. Talk to you later.